Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I will be showing you the best glitches that are working right now in GTA 5 Online after the latest patch 1.67. Now, most of these do work for the male and female character, but also these do work on all consoles. I will be telling you which clothing glitches work for the female and male character as well. But don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends, and let's get straight into the video. Now, this clothing glitch only works for the male character only. Now, you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. I will be showing you on how to get colored vests onto your saved outfit. Now, save your current outfit on slot number 20. Then get rid of your other outfits, open up the pause menu, go over to online, and basically go over to swap character and accept that alert that shows up on the screen. Now you should be loading inside of a small room like this. Now you will need to hover above the second slot character and push edit. Now on the edit part, make sure it's a female character. And if it says something about copying a rank over, just copy that rank. Now on the edit, make sure it's a female character like I said and push save and continue. And if it's a male character like mine, just go over to the sex, put it a female character and just go over to save and continue. And continue on with the clothing glitch. Now you should be loading into a random lobby and once you do load in, if there's no clothing stores, just basically load into an invite only session and make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map. Now, once you are in the invite only session or a lobby, basically just make your way over to the nearest clothing store. Now you will need to go over to the top section. Now go over to the fitted suit jackets and buy the white Boating blazer should be number 10 for you. Now, you would need to basically go over to the pants section, go over to the sport pants, and buy the spotted muscle pants number one. Now, once you purchase the spotted muscle pants number one, you would need to go over to the gloves and on the gloves, purchase the light woolen armored gloves. Number 32. Now head over to the shoe section once you're done. Now you will need to go over to the shoe section and you will need to go over to the high heel boots and you will need to purchase the deluxe midnight combat. Number 24. Now make your way back over to the interaction menu, go over to the inventory, go over to body armor and you will need to cycle through the show armor. Basically, these armors will be giving you colored vest. Now, make your way over to the front counter and on the show armor. Basically, you will need to put on the super light armor and basically save this as an outfit on slot number two. And just save this as an outfit and name it green. Now open up your interaction menu and go over to the body armor. And next, you will need to put on the light armor. And basically, save this as an outfit on slot number 4. And just name it orange. Then back out from the front counter. Open up your interaction menu. Go over to the inventory. Go over to the body armor. And put on the next one. It is called the heavy armor. And basically save this as an alpha on slot number five and just name it purple. Now back out from the front counter, open up your interaction menu and you will need to choose the option to easy way out. It should be at the bottom of the interaction menu. Now that will be basically making the game save. Now once it does save, you should be spawning outside of the clothing store. Now you will need to open up your pause menu, go over to online. Go over to creator and accept that alert that shows up on the screen. Now you should be seeing a blue menu on your screen like this. You go over to create a race, click tutorial and accept that alert that shows up on the screen. Now open up a pause menu, go over to online and you will need to go over to the choose character and accept that alert. Now you should be loading inside of a small room like this. Now this part's important, you will need to hover above the female character on slot number 2 and delete her and accept that alert. 
After you do delete her, you will need to hover above the first slot character, which is the male character, and return to GTA 5. Now, I think on new gen, you just basically join a random uh, player from a different session in a different targeting mode. Now, on old gen like this, in story mode, you will need to basically load into an invite-only session. Do you want to be the richest person in GTA 5 Online and never grind again? Well, check out HyperResupply.com. We are the number one boosting platform. We offer services for GTA 5, Forza Horizon 5, Need for Speed, and FIFA 23. We also have standard or express delivery time. If you're just looking into buying in-game currency or a modded account, we got you covered. We have the best deals, most legit, and 5-star ratings at HyperResupply.com. If you want to save even more money, go over to the checkout, use code REBEL to get 10% off your next order. Now you should be loading into a random lobby afterwards and you would just need to make your way over to the closest clothing store on the map and save your current outfit on slot number 20. Now this part is very optional. You could select any of the outfits at the front counter to transfer over the colored vest onto them. Or if you want, you have a saved outfit on that you're wearing right now. So don't select any of the outfits and just still wear this, your saved outfit. Now open up a pros menu, go over to online, go to jobs, go to bookmark jobs and start up the mission called ATG Think. There will be a link down below in the video description if you need that job bookmark. Now that job does work for all consoles. Now you should be loading inside of a job menu like this. Just make sure you put the clothing on player saved outfits. Invite at least one person to help you out. And basically once they do join, just launch the mission. Now you should be loading inside of a job menu like this. On the owned outfits, just cycle through the outfits to find the armored vest you do like. Or you can always go with the first one, then you know the second one, third one. Now both are already up so the mission can start. Basically once you do load into the mission, you should have the colored vest on. Basically steal any of these vehicles or your personal vehicle if it's near you and make your way over to your apartment building. Save your current outfit on slot number 19. And basically quit the job to the job system to your phone. And basically to give the rest of the outfits, basically you just start up the mission called it's a G thing and repeat the process. Now like this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. Now for this clothing glitch, I will be showing you on how to get a invisible torso onto any saved outfit. Now I think this only works for the male character only but you can put this on any saved outfit joggers pants whatever now make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map go over to the front counter now go over to the tops go over to the overcoat and purchase any overcoat that has the word parka in it now, once you've done that, you will need to basically open up your interaction menu, go over to the style, go over to the jacket and set it as open. Then go over to the top section once again. You will need to go over to the t-shirts and purchase the crew t-shirt and it doesn't matter which color it is. Now, you will need to go over to the overcoat once again. And basically... Choose the overcoat once again that has the word parka. Open up your interaction menu, go over to style and set it on open like this. Now you will need to go over to the front counter and save your outfit on any slot. It doesn't really matter. Now back out once, go over to the high school for us and buy at least one but that have a gas mask on. Then make your way over to the nearest telescope so you could do the telescope glitch. Now once you're there, run past the telescope, hit right on the d-pad and pull away from the telescope. Open up the interaction menu, go over to style and apply the saved outfit we just made once. Close the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and the gas mesh should merge onto the saved outfit like this. Now make your way over to the mask store once you're done. 
and basically overwrite the saved outfit that you made once. Now you will need to back out from the master and have to apply the saved outfit we just made four or five times so the game could save. And on the bottom right there should be an orange loading screen showing up and disappearing. Now that's fine. Open up your pause menu and go over to online, go to jobs, go to play jobs, go over to rockstar created, go over to the missions and start as the mission called a tight end of a job. It should be the first one. Now on this job menu right here, just go over to confirm settings and basically launch the mission. Now you should be loading inside of the mission with a invisible torso. Now just make your way over to the close examination store. Now save your current outfit on any slot once again or overwrite the last saved outfit and basically quit the job to the jobs list through your phone. Now you should be loading into a random lobby and you should have the invisible torso and the invisible torso does stick because you saved this as an outfit. You could change the mask, helmet, gloves, shoes and put on a duffel bag if you want and a badge. But yeah guys hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. Let's move on to the other which of uh, this video. Now I will be showing you on how to get any color Tron pants. Now this does work the female and male character as well and old and new gen as well. Now go over to any clothing store on the map. Go over to the front counter. Now you will need to go over to the section called the deadline outfits and purchase any deadline outfit that you do like. It doesn't really matter just purchase one. Now back out from the front counter, open up your interaction menu, go over to style and click the first one to change appearance. Now you should be loading inside of a small room like this. Now you will need to go over to the apparel. This part is optional for these first two parts. You can put on any hat or glasses or you don't have to, but you do have to change the crew t-shirt style. Now back out once, just go over to save and continue and accept that alert that shows up on your screen. Now you should be loading inside of a small room like this or a random lobby depends your last location and you should have the Tron pants and now this outfit does stick and you can add like gloves a badge or whatever you do want onto this outfit as long as you save this as an outfit. Now let's move on to the other glitch of this video. Now this clothing glitch I will be showing you on how to get the red and blue duffel bag onto any saved outfit. This does work for the female and male character as well old and new gen as well. Register as secure reserve or MC doesn't really matter. Now you will need to go over to your LS Auto Shop and go over to the Heist Prep Board. And you must have the contract called the ECU job available and start up the mission called the robbery. Now, if you do not have those contracts available, continue to do the contracts till that contract shows up. Now on this job menu, just go over to confirm settings, push play and launch the mission and it will be the same thing for the second job menu just go over to confirm settings press play and launch the mission now you should be loading outside of the auto shop now you should have the duffel bag now once the lady calls just open up your pause menu so it can hang up on her and back out of the pause menu open up your interaction menu go over to style and you will need to spam right on the d-pad on illuminated clothing for roughly about two minutes straight now you will need to leave your Xbox or your PlayStation tab menu open. And basically this will speed up the process of getting kicked out of the session faster. Now, basically once you do get kicked, there should be an alert show up on your screen afterwards. And you will need to accept that alert that shows up on the screen. And that will be putting you into a random GTA 5 online lobby. Now go over to the secure reserve management, go over to the style and click one to the right and one to the left. And the duffel bag should appear like this. Now get inside of any flying vehicle and make your way over to the mass store. Jump out of your flying vehicle, open up your parachutes and basically you will need to ragdoll slash glide into the mass store where the masts are sitting on top of the shelves. Now if you did do it correctly, Basically, once you ragged onto the mask door, you will need to continue to spam right on the D-pad till the mask door opens up for you like this. And basically, once it does open up for you, just save this as an outfit on any outfit slot and back out from the mask door and apply the saved outfit we just made and the duffel bag should appear like this. 
Now this is cool because you can change outfits and the duffel bag will always let you change outfits and will always stick. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new, share it with your friends. Catch you on tomorrow's GTA 5 online video. Peace.